are going to be creating um, a what I call a box project. Uh, the main objective of the project is to experiment with the marquee tool and design different types of boxes with filters. Um, you're learning the marquee tool, which is here. You're going to be learning about layers, your color palette box, um, how to edit and transform, and then also filters. Uh, this is an example here of a project. Uh, the rubric is to create at least five boxes, different layers, different colors, transform, and apply filters. Here's a great example of that. Um, here's another example. If you look at this here, you'll see this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have eight layers eight different objects that started off as boxes and then a background as well. Okay, let's begin here. Uh, first, obviously, open up Photoshop. I'm going to close these out. Okay, I'll close this out. What I'd like you to do is say File, New. This is Step 2. And we are working with 8.5 by 11. Definitely make sure you're in inches and have your resolution be at 72. Color Mode, RGB and background white. Okay. Um, one thing you'll do is in your layers, you'll see that there's a background layer. Please never design in your background layer. Um, just It's off limits. Okay. First thing we're going to do, step three, get new layer. Down here you will see there's a paper icon. It's right next to the trash can. So click on your paper icon. You then now have layer one. And when you click on it, it turns blue. So if I go back to background, it's blue. Layer one, it's blue. All this is telling the computer is, hey computer, this is the layer I'm working on. Okay. All right, our first step is we're going to make a rectangle marquee. Here's your tool palette. Here's your rectangle marquee. Um, you're going to make a square. And then we're going to fill it in with a color. So you come down here, and right here you will find your color palette. This is your foreground color, and this is your background color. I'll be explaining those later on in uh, more lessons. Double click on your foreground color. Uh, here you have a sliding scale of all the lovely colors. And what's awesome is you have your tints to your shades, so a different value range. And kind of find a color you like. And then here I'm just going to select, let's say I want kind of a neutral mid-blue. So I select it, and then I say OK. All right, now um, we're going to fill it. So you say Edit, Fill. Now, oftentimes when you're filling, it will go back to what's called Content Aware. Double-click here and make sure you're in your foreground color. Right now our mode is normal and opacity is 100%. And say OK. Uh, this is your arrow, and your arrow is basically your hand to move things around. I'm just holding down and I'm moving. Uh, these are what we call dancing ants, because they look like ants moving. This allows you to uh, tell the, tell the um, program, hey, this is the object I want to be working with. If you want to get rid of your dancing ants, do control D. And then if you want to reselect this object, you're going to come down to your fourth tool, click out, and it's your magic wand tool. This is basically, uh, I call it your magic pixel tool, or pixie dust tool. You click and boom, it's selected now. It's just, it's picking a section of pixels and, and grabbing it. Okay, now we're going to transform. Edit, transform. Here you can scale, rotate, skew, distort, perspective, warp. I'm going to warp it. So you're going to be grabbing, moving, and again, just start having fun. These are little handles. You can just do some cool stuff with this. Uh, to complete the process, click enter. Okay. Again, you can still move this around. Now I'm going to throw a filter on it. Go to filters. There are a ton of filters, and again, these are just things that you're going to have to find on your own. Um, some of the favorites, distort, twirl, and you twirl it, and say OK. Okay, so I'm going to say Control D, and I'm just going to kind of move this up here into um, 
the space. All right, we're going to now repeat this again. You need at least five different layers and at least five different boxes that you're going to transform and filter. So I'd like to sing a little song, and here we go. It is new layer, marquee tool, make a box, pick a color, OK, edit fill. Edit transform, filter. Let's do a lens flare, let's say. Okay? And that's basically it in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do that again. New layer, marquee tool, make a box, pick a color. Okay. Edit fill, foreground normal, 100%. Edit transform, maybe I'll distort it. And filter. Okay, so I'm going to go to, where is it? I want to do a wave, I like the wave. Okay, I'm going to kind of wave it out. Now, you cannot hurt this program. That's the beauty of it. I just did Control D to get rid of the dancing ants. Uh, I take my my move tool, which is V, move things around. I can come back and revisit. I can re. I can scale. If you want to have a uniform scaling, uh, hit down the Shift key, hold the Shift, and then scale it out. Okay. And you move that. Now, let's say you want this layer three down be underneath layer one. You just grab it, hold it down, and drag and drop. Okay. Now, if I want to mess around with this object, I have to then click on layer two. So I'm telling the computer, this is the object I want to be working on. And then I'm going to move this around. I, I can also do free transform. I can scale it and move it to where I need to be. Hit enter. I think actually it'll look better underneath that. Okay. And then this object I like. I'm not crazy about this object. So mm, I think I'm going to trash it. So I'm going to grab it, drag it, and trash it. Okay. Um, at this point right now, I would recommend that you start playing around. You can pause the video. Um, I'm going to now show uh, one extra thing that's super cool. If you want to add what's called a blending option, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to right click on the layer. I'm going to go to blending options. There's all these cool things you can do. I love Outer Glow, so I'm going to click on Outer Glow. But you have to actually physically double click on the words. Come over here, blending mode. I'm going to do normal. I'm going to up my opacity, which is like a screen, to 100. To pick my color, I'm going to click here. I'm going to really get wild here. I'm going to go hot pink and say OK. And then the spread, I'm going to spread it out and the size a little. Now, you can see here on the screen, it is throwing a blend over it, which I just love. I love, 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 love. This is like your jitter, your range. Okay, that kind of makes some bubble, like little marks on it, and then you say OK. And of course, if there's anything you don't like, just grab your eraser and kind of clean up it. I wonder if, yeah, it'll let me clean up it. Okay. All right, uh, have some fun. Uh, again, there, you cannot hurt the program. Uh, anything that you don't like, just trash it, s start over. Um, let's say you do find something you love. You lo let's say you love this layer. This is a little trick. Control J, my favorite, and it repeats it. So it will take all your effects and... Um, and create it. So now I'm just going to free transform this, hold down my shift key, and boom, you're good to go. So enjoy, have fun. Photoshop is amazing, and uh, this is just kind of the beginning. Uh, I can't wait to teach more lessons. Okay, thank you.